Hey everybody, this is George with StreetCulture.us and I'm here at the Tale of the Dragon uh, at the house of Killboy with Daryl the Killboy Cannon. You might recognize Daryl from a, a video done in the past on, what was it, Hell Roads? Hell Roads on Discovery Channel. Yeah, yeah, on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. So, uh, Daryl, tell me, how long have you been here at the Dragon? Well, I started kind of hanging out like 2001 and then just hanging out on the side of the road, taking pictures, blogging about it back before there was blogs really, and uh, people started asking me to take their pictures and put them up there so they could download them. Yeah. One thing led to another, and I fell backwards into photography on the side of the Dragon and went commercial in like 2003, and uh, been at it ever since. You know, just keep growing. Now, uh, I, the first time I met you was what, about two years ago? Yeah. yeah. These guys, I came in, I, I'm new to the Dragon area, made me feel like family. Uh, what was that fellow's name with the Honda S2000? Old Walters. Old yeah. Walters. I, I go up on this S2000, I think it's owned by some 20 year old kid. No, he was like being driven like crazy. 74? Yeah. He's Jacqueline Hyde of us. I don't know what his exact age is. He's up there though. He's, he's up there. Definitely uh, retirement age. Well, I'll tell you what, he left me in the car. Thousand. He's a he's a as good of a driver as any young person. And then he gets out and he's like, hey buddy, how are you doing? This is totally one more Beast. Thing. I did not expect that too because oh, yeah, every, it's wild here, guys. This weekend they're having a Mazda Miata event here, and uh, as you can see behind me, things are already picking up. You'll see behind there's actually a statue put here uh, by Daryl. Uh, I to, wish. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, no. they paid a guy, a local guy in Murphy, nearby town, to do it. it took him like seven months, seventeen thousand oh, yeah. dollars. Project, yeah. But uh, yeah, he brought it up, put it in. It was pretty cool. So the, I call it the House of Killboy. So what do you offer here for? Uh, Enthusiasts well, to come and visit the dragon. A lot of people get us mixed up. So, Tale of the Dragon and huh? Killboy are two different businesses. Oh, so, okay. Tale of the Dragon is the souvenir stuff. So, that's t shirts and right. decals and things like that. And then I run the photography business. And I've also expanded some and I do the, the camera gear inside there and um, knives and things like that. So, I'm just trying to diversify the business a little bit so it's not all eggs in one basket type of thing. Oh, well, it looks great inside. Uh, yeah, I help sort of, you know, organize things in there and lay out things somewhat but it's not really my store that's still a different business oh industry. i see i see yeah. okay so it you guys kind of share it inside. i'm glad because I, I didn't know if this was your place or yeah. if it was theirs well, we work together you know yeah. we help each other that we don't uh, step on each other's toes business wise or anything like okay. that so i bring something that benefits them and they have something that benefits me and so together we kind of help each other out in that way now if i was a new enthusiast unfamiliar with the dragon and whatnot what would you recommend coming out here i mean uh I see. I see. There's a, the wall, or the wall, the tree of shame over there. Um, I mean, is there anything we should know about the dragon that uh, that is different than, I guess, you could say, other roads around America? Or? Well, the thing about the dragon is not necessarily that it's so curvy. It is. It's very technical and curvy. It's 318 turns and 11 miles, but it has sort of a rhythm to it. So the turns aren't what most people think they would be like. Uh, a lot of hairpins yeah. and 180s, it's not like that. It's more like a dance, you know, you're just sort of like back and forth and back and okay. forth. And so it's got sort of a rhythm to it and that's what makes it fun. And the other thing is that it's so desolate. I mean, there's no inroads, there's no businesses, there's no houses. It's, there's nothing um, to interfere with your ride through and it keeps it kind of safer that way so you don't have people pulling out in front of you or anything. So, and it's at the edge of well, it crosses the state line, so it's at the edge of jurisdiction for like police enforcement. They have to drive all the way out of here, oh, okay, and okay. then they just turn around and go back. So, so there's really not too many police today. No, or? there's usually one or two out. I mean, they're keeping an eye on things. Uh, it's a balance, but it also <laughs> yeah. means that you have to be careful, man, especially on a motorcycle. That also means that medical help is a long way away. That's yeah. Oh my See all kinds of things here. Yeah, I noticed so they had a ruckus across the back behind us. That's just crazy. Uh, Mazda Miata up the hill with a ruckus in the back. It's like a regular. Now, now the, the tail is listed as one of the most dangerous roads, and I assume it's because of the medical, the, the lack of medical. Remoteness, yeah, the yeah. remoteness, the availability. Uh, so. You know, it, it is tough if you have an injury that, that would normally not be a serious issue, like yeah. a femoral artery, which is serious, but I mean, you know, you can bleed out um, waiting for an hour for medical to get here, and you got that, you know, golden hour window or whatever. So you definitely have to respect the road and be uh, you realize how far away you are from help. You know? Yeah, our people don't have it as bad. Typically, they don't get hurt uh, as much. Yeah, the wool cages and the protection of the body, right? The motorcycle people, especially on the bigger bikes, the, they'll tend to sort of wear less gear, and the bike is heavier, so they, they break legs and things like that. Now I've so seen I've seen a lot of Miatas here today, but what, what kind of range, uh, variety of cars do you see here? Everything. 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 We, we, had the uh, Pagani Waters. Really? 
had the Veyron uh, uh, SS and the Veyron Matisse, oh, with nice. the regular um, you know Veyrons up here. Um, a lot of car manufacturers bring their uh, sort of test mules up here, all flatted up, you know. Yeah. And they'll test them on this road because there's no other place that can really push the car through. Oh the yeah. yeah. At low temp, uh, at high temperatures, low air movement, things like that. That's one of the you know problems that we a lot have. Of stress is on the cars. cars. It's yeah. rough on the cars, yeah. So yeah. Uh, a lot of those types come up, but we see everything. I, I like to say the car show comes to us. We don't have to go to it, and the bike show too. So that's why I came. We see everything here. We don't have to travel. So, out. so what about the boys? When I say the boys, I mean the guys at the Grand Tour. Have they come out here yet? Not yet. Not that I know. Why not, yeah, fellas? Right. What are you waiting on? I don't think they would like our speed limit. They, they did the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, did the they? Speed limit's like 45, which admittedly, 45 on the Blue Ridge Parkway feels a lot slower than 30 on the Dragon. Actually, to go 30, 40 miles an hour on the Dragon, on a lot of that stuff is hustling. I mean, like locals fast. Hustling. Oh, I like that. But on Blue Ridge Parkway, it's so open that 45 or whatever it was seemed a little slow, so they bitched the whole time about the speed. Um, they probably wouldn't like our speed limits, but um, well, it's America. We'll we drive slow, apparently. So <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, it's not Europe. Slow. But I'll tell you what, uh, I, these guys made me feel like family when I was up here two years ago, and I had to come back. Um, I actually wrote something for, uh, and it was a little editorial. It got rejected, which is fine. Uh, yeah, you so keep throwing stuff yeah, and eventually something sticks. Eventually it's gonna stick. So now I have my own channel, my own Instagram, and I don't need anybody's approval. So I had to come out here, and a tail of the dragon is definitely one of the great places to visit in America. And uh, and if you come out here, you gotta see Daryl and his crew because like I said, they make you feel like family and I'll tell you what, it's been a pleasure, Daryl. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's good to see you again, brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you on the road.